We still have some people that are seeing the bus stops. Remember that this thing has taken place for so, so many years. It started actually, if I remember very well, in the MMD times. So it was carried forward to the PF time and then it has been carried forward also this time when we have UPND in, in government. But uh, remember that um, uh, in, my, in our previous government, this was something that was uh, taking place and the people of the city, for example, I'll speak to you about the people of the city didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And um, we've, I've understood that from the time that I was in the council and understood that it's not a good thing because this is what has, this is one of the things that has let PF have uh, this problem of being removed from government because people were complaining. But um, as a local authority, obviously we need to take care and sort out this issue. And I'm hoping that um, we will sort it out as soon as possible. We have political will. The president has said he doesn't want that, and of course uh, we have to follow. But uh, remember that we have a lot of people that are unemployed in the city. So there is a way that we need to handle this situation for it to be sustainable. Because if we try and force to just change it right here and then, we are creating a lot of crime in the city, and it will get back to the old-fashioned way. So we have to sit down as an authority with all the other stakeholders and see that whatever we are going to plan will be a sustainable plan so that we can cut off this cadarism from all the markets and all the bus stops. Because it's not a fair thing where all councils, or most of the councils, Osaka City Council as a local authority has been losing a lot of money because of such.